I don't know. How many hours before my fir first world conquest? Uh, I think about 2000. It might be, it might be less than that. Now, after my heir comes of age, I'm gonna make my ruler into a gen- No, I'm not gonna do that, I don't think. No, we will. I won't put him in charge of an army, but I'll make him into a general. I might make him in charge of an army, make him in charge of less. Just so he has a higher chance of dying, but that he doesn't get into a battle and loses me two stat. So every time your ruler dies, you lose one stat at least. All level eight forts. Truce break. And it can fool Annex Barma as well. How close are you to coring some of this land? It's pretty far away, but then again, we're not exactly close to. Not exactly close to uh, piecing them out anyway. Besides, that'd be a hell of a quick war. Cause I'm, I'm looking at, I'm looking at, um, can I get an Inquisitor again? Yeah. Well, we're going to use the Staff Ghost guy right now, so. We need to wait for our course to finish anyway, if we're really doing this. And I think we are. Always stacks it. This looks like a Arts of Iron battle plan. I always like the way that looks. So my game, I'm the leader in the PU and someone supported my union's independence. They declared on me- Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa.
It's... The number that's over here is not my actual number. So... It's going to pick the top option automatically. Let's wait for six months and see what it's going to do. There's no point to this number unless I can integrate it during it. I'm not making enough dip. It's gonna lower that by a lot though. Like this is not gonna go down by 15% of 2,292. It's gonna go down by way more. So I wouldn't be surprised if it goes down by like fucking 400 points. And then I still have this policy. Uh, this policy. Th that policy. But if we're doing this, we wouldn't want to mess with Lithuania. Because that would be uh, expensive in the dip department. If I'm making the right decision here. We'll see. Is 
this pretty good. And I don't know how much this is going to give me exactly. So we'll see. And it didn't work. So it's weird how that works. Is this one? I don't know, it looks like they sort of fixed it, but not really. It's kind of weird. Only three people part of the coalition then? There's no point not to. Getting awfully complicated. Alright, so that was 2292 points. Now it's 180. And fuck it, we're going all the way. How much would it cost if I did this? 12 That's insane but Yeah, then we have to stop doing this whole um, <clears throat> Asking for non co belligerent land I think I can integrate him with 10 points a month. I'm pretty sure I can. Even with overextension. That's until 45, but... Uh, Is this D Day? Sheesh. I'm integrating a bit more than I don't know how many points. I'm integrating them with more than 10 points a month.
So effectively, I'm integrating the 10 points a month. Now. Oh god, I haven't got a leader in here. Looks like my carty, the Georgian separatists have been taken care of. So quick. Where is my uh, vassal with the six seat? Is that you? That's you. I mean the six six. He's gonna have to do the job there. So let's do some calculating here. I need a thousand more points. And I've got, uh, let's see, March. We'll see whether or not this was worth it. I've got March, let's see, March 54. March, April. May, June, July, August. That's six. And then 48. Shit. And yeah, that's 56. It's 560 dip. It's not enough. Fuck me, that's not enough. So that was pointless. God damn it. Whatever, I wanted to stop integrating passes during, uh, I mean, uh, declaring wars for non belligerents. not declared so many wars for non covalentrants we would have been able to make it that's all in hindsight i suppose but still it makes me kind of sad oh well so where did my army go right no i'm not gonna bird for that And you know what? Maybe we'll get like an event that gives us two plus two hundred uh, dip or something. <laughs> Still haven't had za, which sh should have happened. I don't know. There's no real event that I'm gonna get that's gonna give me like a whole bunch of dip instantly. It's just not gonna happen. If I had a ruler that had more dip, I also would have made it. 
Don't suppose I can get a six, uh, six Diplo Regency Council, eh? Can't believe I'm wanting that even. Am I on time? I think so. The vassals are quite big though. So putting my focus on Diplo might not be the worst idea anyway. Wouldn't be necessary if I had a good Diplo ruler. But certainly don't want to make the problem worse by uh, constantly asking for land that I'm not even allowed to take. gonna be disloyal, it's gonna be expensive. There's nothing we can do about that. Oh my god, that siege though. Yeah, I know, there is that event, but we've already had that one hundreds of years ago. Yeah, see, even with a uh, speed of 12 a month, it's not going to get it on time. See? It's February 7, uh, 57. So even with that, we weren't going to get it. Regardless, I think we still made the right decision in piecing out Lithuania, because like I said, this is going to be a recurrent, recurring problem. And when is my truce with you over? See, now my truce ends with 56, and if I fight him again, I'll, have, I'll be able to fight him without his allies, and I'll be able to take his land. That's going to save me 250 dip that I can sink into vassals instead. So, ah, you know, it's not all bad. It's... It's fugazi, fugazi, you know, it's good. What we did was good. I need to stop fucking up though. Spanish Congo is completely uh, unseaged. I need to siege up Crete before I can ask for that. Go merge these navies together and start teaching that up. Let's not unconditionally surrender. If we give him this, can we take Galicia for nothing? Yes, we can, okay. So all we have to do now is siege down Crete and uh, be good to go. He doesn't have a fort? Oh my god, he doesn't have a fort. Can you imagine? Oh god, what's happening here? Okay, we're wrecking people, that's good. We can capture some ships. to capture ships. Okay, 
right, at least we can make it over there now. Seats down Arkman. Let's get these guys out of there. Ooh, one of them is slow. I might lose that because that ship's going to die. fucked up because I thought I might just be able to uh, integrate him before that event fired. But now that I think about it twice I'm like, well, maybe this was the right decision after all. Yeah, my ships had too low morale and they were pretty damaged so I wasn't going to win that. Congo. To wait until we can peace out GB. But before that time, I'd need 50% on Spain so that GB doesn't join. So he is still guaranteeing that independence. But if he get 50%, he can't join. To get 50% first before we peace out, we might even peace out Spain before anything. on track to finish on time? I think so, but I don't know. If not, I'll let you know. Yes, I do have to piece, uh, beat up the Ottomans. Oh, Cochin Terra died. That's unfortunate. He was like my best general. Could also be peace out Spain straight away. If I can get a dude in California, Pacifico Norte, and New Granada, I can take all of that land, and I think I want to do that, so. This navy, it's nice that you're over there, but I don't need you there. I just need you to siege down a province in New uh, Granada. <laughs> Trading in ivory, because we needed more diplo rep. <laughs> God, at this point I could inherit people. I am at 0% overextension though, but if I don't take those colonies out now... Things are going to be problematic. I haven't seen sign of force in the area. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if I want to sit through call for peace. I might just want to annex what I can take. Certainly, Cape Verde. I mean, the Canaries and Arguin. 